We're here at the CTIA Wireless on IT show at the Moscone Center in San Francisco. I am joined by Lorraine Porsche of Crazy Fun Babe. Thank you so much for taking the time to speak with us today. Now, we had the opportunity to meet you last night at one of your events, and it was at the Beauty Bar, which I think is just a great way to start off talking about your, um, with your mobile site. Yeah, well, thank you. Uh, well, Crazy Fun Babe is uh, we provide content for women on mobile, bringing a fashionable lifestyle to their phone. And uh, we've just launched our channel, the direct to consumer, and we thought that we should have a party, be a mobile star. Young, some young woman around the world is going to get a chance to uh, star on our channel. And we thought, well, the beauty bar is a perfect place to start celebrating. Absolutely. Now, tell us a little bit more about the type of content that's on your mobile site. Is it user generated? Are you going around and sort of gathering together what you think um, is going to be of interest to women who want to be on the go and sort of stay in, in style with things? Yeah. You know, fr from the beginning of the, the company that we've always wanted to know what it is that the, the audience wants. What does our customer want? So we're really... We're really focused on that. And then, you know, bringing mobile, like, downloads, like wallpapers and voice tones. We have some really great, uh, sexy, romantic voice tones and some fun wallpapers. But we also are looking at, because the phone is in a woman's purse 24-7, and it does totally connect her to lifestyle, that we also bring other things like, you know, the best buys, the latest fashion, the hot venues, like, really connecting them to their world. Are there particular... Um content creators or particular publishers that you found that is the right partnership fit for what you're looking for? Uh, yeah, you know, we're always looking. Like, we, we do create a lot of content on our own and have people that do it, you know, for us. But we also do look for Crazy Fun Babe approved content as well. Wonderful. And what are some examples of that? Um, well, the Crazy Fun Babe um, content, as I say, a lot of it is um, uh, just things that are really specific to women that they're really interested in because we just found that in the marketplace that in the mobile marketplace it was really being ignored or not they, they people just thought well there's content women will like it and we go no there has to be something specific for them what's your what's your background as far as coming into this particular space were you involved in sort of the, the web-based publishing before did you sort of come into this from the dot-com era Yes, yeah, and back in the early 90s, um, Kids Web TV, the parent company, were pro um, providing content for television and for the web to the tween market. But then as, as our demographic grew and as mobile, um, you know, became more and more prevalent and we knew, we just knew that that was going to be it, and then we said, well, who spends more time communicating than women? Let's create That's mobile content. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, you yeah, can yeah, it better. yeah. So what, what, I mean, as far as within the, I guess, sort of the, the, the female population, is there a particular sort of age demographic or um, socioeconomic demographic that sort of fits best with what it is that you're doing? How are you approaching that? I mean, we spend a lot of time traveling between Europe and uh, the United States, and how people use their mobile phones mm -hmm. is so very much different. Mm -hmm. There are people in North America that are definitely using a more antiquated phone versus in Europe where they really have their phones completely souped up. On the other hand, as, as professionals, I know myself, my phone needs to do everything. Right. So right. How, how are you sort of looking at your market? Well, you know, we say once... Or once a crazy fun babe, always a crazy fun babe, and that it's um, sexy, sassy, sophisticated women. So it really, it really crosses quite an age range, and um, but we just find that their their interests, you know, are very similar. So so fashion, um, gossip, uh, you know, shopping, and all of that. So so we really look at it more of a, a mindset. Wonderful. And how are you? Um sort of working with the opportunities to make it like interactive. It's one thing for me to sort of view my content on the phone, but let's face it, in the mobile space, there's that level of personalization that means I need to feel more connected with what's actually happening on my mobile device. Are there blogs? Is there emails? Is there some other type of community that I can get connected with as well? Yeah, yes, we have like a whole crazy fun babe community and like you say, that whole interaction, that is really key. And as, as we go forward with the, with the channel, that 
I mean, we've been with the carrier since 2002, but with the channel, we're just going to evolve that more and more so that interactivity where, where um, women can text in and, and uh, all, you know, converse with others, find out what's going on, vote on things, or, you know, say, let somebody know where they got the best buy or the hottest shoes, or, right. you know? So really, yeah, that's, that's hugely important. Fantastic. Uh, now, I don't know if I showed you these, these photos, uh, and I know that we're going to get... Um, you know, a, a chance great. to demo, but but my girls and I were working really hard to be crazy about fun made <laughs> stars last night. I hope that you'll be able to get a nice oh close up of this on camera. But um, do you think that we have any any chance uh, yeah, of being a star yeah, on uh, Crazy Fun Babe? Good potential there. Wonderful. Right on. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Lorraine. That was great. Thank we're you. here at the CTIA Wireless Show, and I'm Michelle Sklar with BNETTV.com.